mixing a musical instrument. Uh, this particular instrument is uh, a double bass and unfortunately suffered some uh, damage due to uh, being accidentally dropped. Okay, so this is it. It is a three-quarter double bass or contrabass built in Germany and the only information I have on it at the moment is it is built by Bausch and it's about 80 years old and has had a good long service as a musical instrument and hopefully we shall uh, get a bit more use out of it yet so first of all uh, the main part of the damage is down here as you can see the back is starting to split away from the main belly of the base at the heel here also we've got a few problems with the spike as you can see the strange angle that it's at at the moment there's also a fair bit of movement in there and there's a little bit of movement there so it's delaminated from the heel block also not wishing to be left out the other end suffered some damage as well and this is the area of the neck here as you can see there's a small split there and you can also see the varnish line and where that varnish line should meet which is there so we're about three sixteenths of an inch out of true so what we're going to do we're going to strip the old girl down and see if we can nail it back together that the bridge is actually uh, around about two inches out of place which makes the the scale of the base a lot shorter actually when it goes back together the bridge itself will be uh, in the correct position technically that position is where these notches are in the F holes uh, I believe also that the bridge is also upside down uh, the flat side should actually be that side uh, all strings removed, the bridge is removed, the tailpiece and the spike has basically fell out. Uh, I've noticed in there, I don't know if you'll see it, but there is a split in the heel block there where the end pin fits in, so that's going to have to be fixed so the whole rather than just gluing this back in place uh, the whole back has now got to come off to be able to get access to this here and inside I can actually feel quite a large gap in that heel block so that, uh, that in itself is going to be Quite an interesting job. Sound post, which is in there, you probably can't see it. It's dark. Will obviously come out, so I'll just have to uh, put a general mark on there, just to sort of give me a rough estimate of where it's come from. Uh, I noticed also here there's a little split. So taking the neck out may cause a lot more damage to that. The neck itself is still quite solid, so. Uh, and the movement is, uh, oh no, there we go, look, it moved, super. I don't know if you saw that, but it did, it moved, honest. The, the neck will be uh, taken out, it's it's glued in position, the glue is probably broken, it's old fashioned glue, scotch glue, which is basically made up of dead bits of animal bone and melted down into a gelatin state. Uh, applied warm and obviously when it cools down it creates a hard compound glue um, it also makes it very easy to unadhere if that's a word by using uh, which I'll show you at some point 
a hot knife. So what we'll do, the neck itself, oh, once again some more workshop floor, lucky you, will come out that way uh, by gently wiggling it around a little bit and moving it and maybe giving it a gentle tap with a rubber faced mallet uh, it should pick the neck out which is uh, going to be ideal right I shall stop the video for a moment to reassess and uh, drink my coffee no, drink the WD-40, whatever, and um, yeah, be back in touch. Bye. Okay, well, the neck itself, rather than being a complete nut of what's name to actually get out, came out quite easily, which is actually rather off-putting. It's not actually a dovetail, it's just a mortise, which is... Not particularly the best way of fixing things like that. As you can see the glue and bits of timber on there. And if we look closer into the mortise, you can see where the timber is pulled away. So the glue, all those dead animal bones, is actually quite good. So I'm going to have to reassess that because I may decide to put a tapered dovetail on there. Don't know what I was videoing then, I should take more care, shouldn't I? And that will then make it far more secure, far tighter. And hopefully that another 70 or 80 years. Right, well the next stage is going to be using the hot knife get the back off. What I'm going to do, flip the old girl up on there like so. Basically there is a hot flame. I am now heating up the blade of the knife. hope the wife doesn't find out because it is actually a cake pallet knife that I borrowed out of the kitchen drawer. Right. That seems to be working, so what I'm going to do is just put a block in there, hold it out.
Yeah. There we go. The back is off. In there. I've made a mark where the soundpost fitted. There's another mark. Yeah. There. Where the soundpost goes. The block that the heel or the heel block the spike fits through has split completely in two which once again is not a good thing so that's going to be repaired as well and I can either take it off if, or actually ream it and put a spline in we shall see